Anyway folks, welcome back to my chat. Today we're doing something completely different. We haven't got no unboxing. We haven't even got a Johnny Blade or a Scissoroo. They're having a break. Today we're going to check out my Star Wars collection, 1977 to 85, as it stands so far. Let's go and check it out. Come in. Well, here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Is the uh, is my vintage Star Wars collection? Every box is repro. There's one or two boxes in here which are vintage. So let's go through this. Every single box has the toy inside. So we've got the Star Wars speeder bike, the cantina, the Imperial tap base, the Y wing. What's that on the side? The Imperial transport. Transporter, Rancor Monster, Scout Walker, um, the B Wing, you got Darth Vader's Destroyer, Speeder Bike, Earwalk Village, Millennium Falcon, the Attack, we go back over here with the Death Star. I showed you a video of that um, on my videos of the Holy Grail, that is inside this box. Ewok Catapult, go to the tops. Got a Tauntaun, X-Wing Fighter, Battle Damage, uh, Dagobah, then behind the Catapult, there's a Tauntaun, behind the Catapult we have got the Imperial Shuttle, that massive big ship, which is expensive, this big thing here. Oh, got a Jubek, and we got Snoops and uh, the Rebo band, that that is really expensive, that shuttle. Yeah, it's due back. Tauntaun. Now this is the only uh, vintage box I have, which is this one here. And that's a uh, battle damage X-Wing fighter. See, that's why I'm saying, there's me, uh, there's it in the box. That's what I'm saying, I like, the vintage stuff is good, but if you get one of these boxes here, they are almost pristine, where this vintage box is tatty and bent and that, but you get them from rep uh, repro boxes and inserts, you get them like this. Just in case of having a vintage box, all tatted and battered and creased and stuff, I get a pristine mint box repro That's what I like to have. Right, where are we? Right, so that is that. Then we've got Jabber's Dungeon, complete with all the figures inside. Snoop's Band. Get rid of that. Right. Vintage box. Here we go. Jabber the Hut. Slave One. Hoff Ice Adventure. Land of the Jowers. Rebel Command Center. Imperial Fighter, which is a new one, what come out in 2010, I think, or 2015. Then we've got the Rebel Transporter. And down there is the Ewok Battle Wagon, which is not, it's um, a reproduction of the uh, Battle Wagon, which you saw on my video as uh, Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. And I made that cage from that, that cage there I made on the video from, um, C3PO Ewok Village uh, throne, and I made that cage. And my one's got black, black wheels, and the top of the skull is Battle Bones Mo2 vintage uh, skull to make that. And then we got the new one, which is Tatooine 5. We go up here, you go the uh, twin cloud car. Then you've got the Rebel, that one, Combat, Net Launcher, which is Robin Hood, Bola Bomb, which is Robin Hood, and we've got an Evil, can Evil there, X-Wing Fighter, and we've got Battle Damage TIE Fighter, Interceptor, and we've got the turret and Probot set, then we have the awesome playset of uh, Palace One. 
almost complete. We go down to Land Speeder, Cloud City, which is a cardboard one. Droid Factory is complete. All of these are completed anyway. And we've got the, uh, the Shears exclusive, the blue snaggle tooth, which is inside, 100% original. Then we have a bit of the old power of the force, which is the, uh, the old block center. And yeah, that is almost my uh, Star Wars collection. What's that one under there? That is, oh, that sand crawler. Remember the video what I showed of the sand crawler? That is the big sand crawler I've got. So yeah, that is my almost completed vintage collection of all the boxes. Oh, and I had that um, in a video a couple of weeks ago of the, uh, the old uh, tie bomber. And what's that? The old um, escape and the power of the force land speeder. And then we hit that into uh, Star Wars Last Jedi, going like, you know, all them. So, uh, yeah, so that is my complete collection boxes, which I've been collecting these boxes for a while, and I've almost got the whole collection. And it is absolutely awesome. So if I come back here, that is almost the whole collection. Look at that. Now, would you like to have these boxes, which are almost brand new and spanking, pressed clean, or do you want a battered vintage box, which is greased, is like tattered and battered, but it's vintage, or do you want to get a repro box, which is almost like that? Look. That's like a toy display. So yeah, that is uh, all my Star Wars boxes with the toys inside. And it's uh, absolutely good. And I've only got to get three more boxes. And then I've got the whole collection. Oh, not forget, got the old C3PO. You'll see if we'll be able to talk. Pretty good. And my other pickup was the Darth Vader. <coughs> yep, there's my old uh, vintage carry cases. <coughs> but I'm really pleased with all these boxes. Yeah, they do cost a bit. So if you want any boxes, click the link below. Um, I have uploaded a few videos of me opening some of these, but yeah, it's really good. All the toys are completed inside, but that's why I like to have these. So if you have a vintage box, it's vintage yet, but it's all tattered and broken, it's crushed and stuff, or get a repo box, which might cost you a couple of quid, but your toys are preserved in these boxes. And look very nice. What do you reckon? Anyway, oh, and not forget, these are vintage as well. All the mini rigs, all these are vintage boxes. All the mini rig boxes, combat glider, all my, all my card figures, every single mini rig in here is completed, and vintage in the box. And you've got all my backpacks and cards and yeah, completed, 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 yep, yep, yep. So yeah, I've got a load of old figures in here, absolute tons, with all my mini rigs and all of that lot there. So yeah, that, I'm almost done with Star Wars Vintage. Now I have to go into droids if I want to go into droids, but I don't really want to go into droids because I didn't really follow that series, so uh, I might give it a miss. So when, I, when I've finally got all my vintage Star Wars stuff, then I always put it in the box like that. 
was getting from uh, supermarkets for about four, four, five quid. Oh, and then I've got my Mandalorians, the old G.I. Joes, and the retro stuff. Even got the vintage, uh, vintage Royal Ghostbusters. Right, let's go back to the studio. And now I've got my uh, first 12 on a repro carded stand. Always blue to tack them down because they always fall over. So yeah, there is my uh, first 12 in a wicked background. All named on there and that. Absolute wicked. And let's go and show you the other figures. And then we got the uh, the Reap Pro special edition Darth Vader's. And you got a carded Stormtrooper, Boba Fett. Reap Pro or special edition coloured Boba Fett. A Tatooine skiff. Skiff. What I need one box for. One of the boxes I need. And then we go down here, and then we got Luke and Leia and Chewbacca and C3PO and R2D2 and all the classic figures, all vintage. Absolute wicked. That's a repro. We got them. They were very good. All weapons with them, all the capes, originals. Took me a while to. Oh, look, there's a, a Lego version of me. Look. <laughs> The old backpacks. Then we go down to the old uh, volumes, Akbar, Scout, Royal Guard. I think I've got to, uh, like in the loft, in the, uh, you got Luke's sun cape, and up where I showed you the boxes was the uh, clip cape in the, uh, other carded figures. So you got all of them. Oh, repro weapon. I think there's only about one or two repro weapons in this. But yeah, now we go over to the serious figures, which are absolutely lively. A man a man. Barada, EV99 is going up in price big time. Repro cape of Luke. That's the wicked. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed the video today. The old Star Wars collection, what I've got so far in the repro boxes. I've been saying to you in previous videos, if you want some of them boxes, click that link below and you will get what I've just shown you. All the toys are in them boxes. I like them because it preserves them, don't get ruined, dirty, or broken, or whatever. They're in their boxes, exactly the same as what they would be back in 77 to 84. But the repro, both the same. One's repro, one's they're cardboard, and I like them anyway. Some people don't like repro, but I do, because well, it, it doesn't matter. If you want some, click the link below. All of them, you'll get a big box like I've been showing you in previous videos. I've been saying to you, and I just showed you what I've got, and I've got a few more coming to get that whole collection. What I've been aiming for, the goal, the goal of the whole collection. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the mini rigs, all the boxes, all the. Uh, the whole collection I've got, even little mini figures, and the 12 display, the 12 Star Wars first display what I've got. Anyway, in the next videos we've got more unboxing, we've got Scissoroo back, we've got Johnny Blade back, we've got Motu Origins, more Motu Origins, even we've got G.I. Joe Retro Collection, more of that coming in, and we've got some more Star Wars unboxing stuff to do. But anyway, I hope you liked the video today, you've been watching Mike's chat on the 4K eyebrow, and Thank you for the new subscribers for subscribing. The other subscribers, thanks for sticking by. All these videos are going on the Facebook page, Mike's Chat. So join it, like, subscribe, comment below. But if you want to comment below and you find out in the next video, click that link below and that notification bell to get the next video to pop up. Ching! And you've been watching Mike's Chat. And wait for it for the 4K eyebrow. Thank you very much.